Yeah! I know you know. You know you know. The screen got golden. Screen, the screen got brighter. It's AE, Street Fighter 5. What up? It's your boy Be Heard, aka Brian, aka Prince, aka Prince Vegeta without the Hayden, aka Prince of All Saints. What y'all like better? Prince Vegeta without the Hayden or Prince of All Saints? Let me know. This is If you see this screen, well, this is a new, new screen. It's shiny, it's pretty. This is Street Fighter AE, but this is a series where I wrote to Evil, where I practice commentary on dope people's matches. I either think they're really dope, I think they're god at Street Fighter V, or I'll happen to be cool with them. Maybe it happens to be all three. In this case, it is. Uh, but, yeah. And if you ever want me to commentate show matches, leave your CFN down below. Uh, you gotta be a subscriber or a Twitch follower. You can't just let me commentate your matches. You ain't gonna support. It's, it's a balance. I support y'all. Help y'all get better. You support me. Help me get better. And, uh, yeah. This guy that we got on the screen here is Bodyweight Creed, a.k.a. Eli the Curry. And I'm gonna go on a limb here and say all the money that I have in my bank account that this is no no shots whatsoever no shots whatsoever this is the best Street Fighter 5 player who happens to be a commentator I'm willing to bet I'm willing to bet I'm willing to put my money up against your money and see how you bet Eli Curly is that nice plays Laura always been a Laura main um I think Laura got good too y'all like I don't think she got hit with the nerf stick at all like how Brawlwalk did. And Alex GT playing the second B-Trigger with Ed should be very interesting because I think Ed's second B-Trigger is actually really nice. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one goes. Let's go ahead and commentate this match. Eli Curry is a commentator of his own. Midwest dude. Shouts out to the Midwest alum. Always got to support the Midwest boys but made the wise business decision to go to um, the West Coast. So you can be at Wizard Night Fights. My goal is to commentate a Wednesday Night Fight before the end of the year. I don't know how I'm going to make it. <laughs> so be sure to donate to the United Negro Foundation, which is me. But enough talking. Let's get into these matches, shall we? Kind of curious to see how Season 3, Ed, would be Trigger 2. And I think Beat Trigger 2 is just, it's just better. Like, he can really get in and do some damage. And, uh... Hatch Snatcher. That just sounds vicious in itself. Um, so, see how Eli the Curry, the commentator slash beast of a player, does. See all the gold addition on top. Very patient. Very patient by Eli. I'm gonna call him Eli because I know him by Eli. So sorry if I don't call him by Bodyweight Creed. Oh, try to jump over but nothing doing. Nice cross up by Alex. Good throw. Push him to the corner. Push her to the corner. Oh, got hit with a button. Nothing doing. Ed's normal. Still kind of weird. Both got crush counters but they didn't get no setup off him. Obviously, he's diamond so these players would know what they're doing. Uh, Ed. Eli's kind of getting blown up here but sets a fireball. Gets good pressure with the elbow but nice throw. Alex knows he was blocking, so might as well. Got a crush counter. Oh! Activation, I like it. Oh, this is big damage. Nice cross under. Cross under. Y'all know what I mean. Let's jump over. Dash in. Her V skill so good. Uh oh. There's that V trigger too. See if uh, Alex. Well, <clears throat> I was going to say, let's see if Alex can do something with it, but uh, you can't because you, you're playing Eli the Curry. He kind of nice. He's kind of nice. Round two. <laughs> Let's see how the second round goes. That round's very in Alex's favor, but Street Fighter V is the comeback game. First cycle upper that we see. Projectile. The beautiful thing about Ed and his projectile is he can kind of pump fake you with it, so I kind of like that. Pulls her in. Knows he was blocking. Gotta go for the throw if he knows they're blocking. Oh, nice. Oh, the mix up stayed in front, and then this time we're behind. Okay. Nice throw escape. That's probably the safest option, but we haven't really seen any command grabs yet by Eli the Curry. But then again, I don't know if he's really had a chance either. See some of that V-Trigger 2 by Ed, but nothing doing. 
jab anti-air is still kind of a thing. Oh, that's a big punish. That should do it too. I'm surprised we only saw two cycle uppers. Cycle upper is a really good tool for Ed, but the punish statisticism by Eli the Curry was just high level. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I I just feel like that was just a solid game. Like we didn't see no command grabs, we didn't see no like sunset wheel, we didn't see uh the punch command grab. Eli just played solid. Put him in a mix-up situation where the one point he stayed in front, and then the next time he went behind. That was just solid gameplay. That's as solid as it gets. And he's a commentator. Like Eli the Curry could bop people in a tournament, be damn near near top eight, and they'd be like, Eli, you want to do some commentary? Yeah, I'm gonna do some commentary where other people are stressing. Oh, I gotta know my matchup. I gotta know this frame data. I gotta do this. Eli, like, man, you want to do some commentary? Yeah, man, I'll, let me go ahead and knock out some commentary real quick. Like, that's how nice this dude is. <laughs> this is someone you should follow. You should follow his Twitter. You should follow his Twitch. You'll probably see him in a Street Fighter tournament. Breaking down Street Fighter even to a higher level than I am. That's how nice this dude is. And then we got Zachary Dancy. Dancy? I'm sorry, if I don't hear the names, it's hard to pronounce. So if I ever botch a name, even if I botch like your names, don't take it to heart. Look. Look, I'm listening. I'm trying to grow. Yo, this is the cleanest bison outfit. I need that. I need that. I need to hurry up and get season three so I can get that. Uh, the paint. Look, that's that's the immediate position. Most lords want to go in and go crazy. Maybe utilize the V skill. Eli, Eli, just patient. So patient. Uh, try to do a knee. That looked like a medium. Knee press, because he was able to block. Oh, good anti-air and a dash under. Ooh, that was dirty. Regular throw. And now you in the corner. Zachary, you're going to have to make something happen here. Oh, this pressure is real. V reversal, do something. Oh, got the stun. Oh, is this enough to kill? No, that was set up. First V, v reversal, we're seeing kind of yeah, late doing. And you can't throw it down forward heavy like that. Not in that range. Uh, Eli was more patient than Zachary in every re regard as far as that round went. Uh, I feel like that's what helped him. Zachary's still playing aggressive, so I still respect it. But he's going to have to make something happen here. He just kind of got bopped in that situation. Eli Curry so patient. Look, he has no worry. No worry in the world. I mean, he's getting hit with a good combo here. Nice throw into the corner. A lot of stun bar. Look, back to patience. I wish we really, I really wish Zachary would have followed that up. Just to relieve some pressure, you know what I'm saying? Good pokes by Zachary, though. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And the, stay to front, and then that was a good view reversal by Zachary. Activates. No bars, though, but close to getting stunned. Nice throw escape. Oh, this should not kill, because. Uh, damage. I don't know why I drew a blank. Sorry, I apologize there for everybody. You look, look solid. Very patient. I feel like he was in no real danger. He didn't even throw a command grab. Like, like I hope you see how Eli's playing. My man is not even throwing command grab, so he, he's not even putting you in a mix-up. Now, then again, there was a universal nerf to... There was a universal nerf to sorry I got a tweet universally nerf like two command grabs with more recovery so maybe that's why he's not throwing them out there because I yeah you don't want to risk that especially against the bison play and bison got a buff too so he should be able to shimmy because they boosted his walk speed a little better but Eli Curry was always playing at the right range at the right time this is the beauty of seeing Eli the Curry play is you see someone who's stayed on the same character you know what I'm saying? I, I think she was viable. And she's probably mid-tier in Season 1. Don't quote me on that. I really don't remember a lot of Laurels like that. Season 2, she got amazing buff. In season 2.5, she was good. I don't think she really got hit with the nerf stick at all. And then her V-Trigger 2 is godlike too. So, this is what you see in a player who literally knows his character to a T. He knows what to do in each optimal situation. 
He's never worried. Look, bam. Back to crouching. Crouching and blocking. Just gonna, I'm gonna see what you do. I'm gonna react to what you do. I'm gonna make you. It's basically a game of chickens. Two throws to start off. Zachary getting some throws, getting some confidence. That's just in. I think he does a light elbow. Keep the pressure. Oh, the first command grab we see. Sunset over wheel. I would say Sunset Overdrive just because of the Xbox game. Oh, that EX Fireball. So good. Keeping the pressure alive. Goes for that down forward heavy punch again. EX double knees. Keep it safe. Good pokes by Zachary, but he can't get no offense going. I feel like Zachary is a pressure type of person. Like, he wants to get some offense going. But the fact that he's kind of hit and missing with his offense is kind of frustrating him. And Eli Curry just chilling. That's just what I'm seeing. I don't know if my eyes, my eyes can be deceiving, for all I know. Oh, that was a hell of a mix up. Oh, that was dirty. Nice neutral jump into activation. Now, this is not going to do as much damage because combos count, they scale twice as hard. Or twice. Activation counts as two hits. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. And a command grab energy. Oh. Eli the Curry looking sharp as ever. Still has two bars to play with. Uh, Zachary hasn't. He looked solid in, the, I want to say, the second round of the first game, but uh, hasn't looked solid in the set, so he's going to have to pick something to happen here. At least, at least, I would say, like, if I was in Zachary's position, I would just try to work on some certain things to get just a confidence boost. Because some people feel like they get lower, but at the end of the day, you, there's still flaws in your game, rather, regardless of the character. You know what I'm saying? And that's no diss to Zachary Nervous. Trying to get advice. Got a crush counter combo. Oh, wake up super. Hey. You got it, might as well. Dead. Alright. Put the pressure on Eli, maybe Eli. Well, Eli still defensive as ever. Love it. I love it. Stay true to you. Activates. Oh, good blocking. End of E reversal. Oh, good damage. There you go. Maybe that's what, uh. Zachary needed. He needed something crazy just to like, alright, this guy's almost playing too perfect. So I had to throw him off a little, a little bit. Now I, I got him thinking about certain things. So that was a good round of Zachary. I'm proud to see this. Obviously he's a diamond player, so he knows what he's doing. So you want to see people do well. By the way, Creed, not even please. Same defensive position. I'm going to just hit this crouch and block. I'm going to see what you do. But then when I go in, I'm going to go in and mix you up and go behind you. Ooh. Close to getting stunned. We will see a V reversal by Zachary. Oh, he doesn't get the chance. Pushes him into the corner. Big damage. Sets up. Good blocking by Zachary. Nice low check. Activates. Nice neutral jump. V reversal. Don't even want to deal with it. That was smart to throw out the EX fireball. And that was kind of bold by Zachary because he had that great health and one more hit did it. And that's all that it took. That's all that it took. Ladies and gentlemen, Eli the Curry is a good homie of mine. Even though he don't follow me on Twitter. I, look, I'm going to call out the real. I'm going to support these people. I'm going to rock with these people. And I think these people are dope. But if you don't follow me on Twitter, um, this this going to be known in the video if you get to this point. I definitely think you should give him a follow on his Twitch. Uh, you should definitely watch him. You're going to see him at tournaments this year. Like, If you watch any big name tournament. Nine times out of ten, he's there. Or even a small time tournament. Eli is that type of dude. He's always working. I think he's worked on Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, Street Fighter. He, he's always he's always working. Just to name a few games. Uh, I think he's even entered some of the tournaments that me and Joe Monday commentated. So, are they again? In, he's entered Black Ant Galaxy. Not that I remember. Shout out to Black Ant Galaxy, too. He's into his tournaments. So, Eli, Eli the Curry is a workaholic, a beast of a player. Good dude. Just definitely give him a follow. Midwest home. Especially if you're from the Midwest. Tell him B Hurt sent you so I can get my credit. But if you enjoyed this video, that'll be it for the video. And if you're going to be part of the series live, twitch.tv slash Prince B Hurt 2. And if you want me to commentate your matches, leave your CFN down below if you're watching this on YouTube. But you got to be a follower or a subscriber. You got to either be a follower on Twitch or a subscriber on YouTube. Or a subscriber on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? One of those things. All right, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>